on Friday. I am hoping that Coco lets me do this. It is just her and I right now. Um, Django should be here any minute. So, if you are um, on right now, hashtag replay below, because you're most likely watching the replay if you're just now seeing this. And whenever you hop on here, please say hi. Let me know that you're watching. Um, and also, please feel free to share this for me. It helps me grow my network tremendously. I know it might seem silly or, um, I don't know, maybe like it doesn't work, but I promise it does. It helps me so much and I'm so appreciative of it. So, also, whenever you do share this, comment below and let me know that you did. That way I can thank you because depending on your actual Facebook settings, I may not, actually, I may not be able to see who shared it. Coco, please don't do that. Okay, so I'm actually not going to. Normally, I like to have my laptop pulled up as well so I can see your comments. Um, but I naturally got little Coco Roo here with me. Here you go. So we're not going to be doing any of that. All right. And while I'm getting my makeup out, I'm going to talk to you about this whitening toothpaste. Okay, this is a Eurofresh whitening toothpaste, and it is incredible. So... Bear with me while I get my <laughs> scoot over, please, baby. <laughs> I thought this would be so good because we did nap time. She's eaten like a monster this morning, took a good nap. So I thought, okay, I'm going to be able to get on here and it's going to be smooth sailing. <laughs> so let's see. Um, but while I get my makeup out of my makeup bag, I want to talk to you about our whitening toothpaste. And... What this is, there are one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, there are five main natural ingredients in here. And I'm just gonna run through them. So the first one that's in here is aloe vera. And, sorry, I knew that this would happen. So aloe vera, when you think of aloe vera, or at least when I think of aloe vera, I think of, you know, really soothing and calming. That's what it does for your mouth, for your gums, for everything in there. So not only is this toothpaste an extremely good whitening toothpaste, it is so good for your oral health, okay? Which is something, you know, obviously if you're just getting a whitening system, um, that's not giving you, it's not going to provide enough oral health that you actually need. Um, so the aloe is actually really calming. Aloe is a natural um, remedy for bad breath, which I never knew that before about aloe. Let's go, go. Okay. Um. <laughs> please let me do this. <laughs> Can I please do this? Please. <laughs> okay. So aloe is a natural remedy for bad breath, which I did not know. Um, it's obviously very calming and it's good for inflammation throughout your gums. The tea tree is what gives it more of, it's like a, almost like a really soft, like peppermint taste. It's not overpowering. Um, and tea tree is also a natural, you know, fighter of bad breath, which is also going to help with, um, bacteria, bad bacteria in your mouth. Um, Okay, okay, let me put my primer on while I'm talking because this is what she wants to play with. Um, the next thing in here is ginseng. Ginseng is also a natural um, bad breath fighter. And ginseng also is really calming for your gums. So if you've ever had, um, you know, you've gotten food stuck in your teeth, like especially like in the backs of your teeth and almost like hurts your gums and causes that... I don't know, just, it hurts a little. That's what ginseng does. Ginseng fights against that feeling. It fights against all of that inflammation um, in your mouth. So that's why that was really good for your oral health. There is miswac. Um, and miswac, you can Google this. It's actually really popular in other countries. And it's actually, so this is a picture of it right here on the tube of toothpaste. So this is miswac. And it's basically, it's like they pull apart the bark and it almost looks like a rope. And that's what they use to scrub their teeth with. And that's going to help remove plaque buildup. Um, and then the one, the other thing that is the carbonate. So carbonate is the external stain remover. So all of you coffee, wine drinkers, tea drinkers, um, any, a lot of foods actually stain our teeth. Um, as well, and we don't always think about stuff like that, but 
all that processed food that you're eating and you know putting in your body like it's got to travel through here first okay <laughs> Um, and your oral health is so important. Your oral health can can go like really far in your body. Um, so it carbonate and titanium dioxide are going to be your external stain removers. Those are like the biggest whitening components. And then there is a very very so anyone with sensitive teeth, there is a very small amount of sodium fluoride in the toothpaste as well. Here, this is what you do with this. See. You want some? You can't eat it. <laughs> there you go. Does that feel good? I, I know. <laughs> um, so it is a very small amount of the sodium fluoride because I know in large quantities, you definitely don't ever want large quantities of sodium fluoride. Um, the small amount that's in here is not going to be harmful for you. Oh my goodness, you guys, I thought that this was gonna be a good idea because we just did nap time, girlfriend. She's just been wanting mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> la, la, la. Yeah, ma, ma, ma. So, let's do, let's start putting on my makeup. I'm gonna do, what do I wanna do? I'm actually gonna do my same BB and CC cream. I'm gonna mix them, so this is just, a really good skincare the and collagen both of these the BB and CC have collagen in them already so I'm adding collagen to my skin there is um, oh my gosh there are B vitamins in these um, what else is it I can never think straight whenever <laughs> whenever Coco is here because we just have to touch everything but there are a lot of really, really good components in the BB and CC cream. You do not have to wear both of them together. Um, I've, I wear the BB more by itself more than I do the CC cream, but um, I do like both of them. And the CC is obviously going to be more of your color correcting, where BB is going to be just more of a really nice like collagen beauty balm that has a lot of moisture in it. So whenever you get on here, please say hi. Let me know that you're watching. I do not have my laptop pulled up right now to see my comments only because um, Coco decided that she was going to bless us with her appearance. <laughs> so I will respond to any and all of those whenever I am finished per usual. Yes, right there. This stuff just feels so soft on my skin. It's so good. But on Saturday, so Saturday was when I was getting ready for our Mother's Day outing. Um, my spot was so red and inflamed and angry. I actually put CC cream on and then my VFX foundation. VFX foundation is my all-time favorite. It gives you more of a medium to full coverage. Obviously, if you put your CC cream underneath, it's going to give you a very full coverage. And I really liked it. It was just very different for me because I'm not used to wearing that full of coverage. But I was really, really impressed with how everything looked after I was all done. Okay, I just like to make sure everything's nice and blended on my skin. So I use the Kabuki brush. Um, I always feel like if you have textured skin, sorry about that. <laughs> if you have textured skin, if you have you know, more fine lines, wrinkles, if you have acne, if you have acne scars, any type of scarring on your face, a kabuki brush or a brush similar to this is gonna be best for you to apply your foundation because a lot of times we like to go in with our beauty blenders, but if you're using a blender, you're basically just kind of like pushing it into your skin, pushing it into those areas even more. Whereas this, you're, liter you're just more so guiding, guiding your coverage wherever you want it and it just lays on your skin a lot nicer. So I have had the best success and same with my customers. That's what I always tell them as well. Um, okay, let's do some, let's do some brown mascara because I feel like I need to, I feel like I look super tired. I am really tired. <laughs> I, um, so brown mascara, before I get into what I was gonna say, brown mascara is incredibly easy to, to apply and it makes such a big difference. Look at this side of my face and then this side. It makes such a big difference. <laughs> and it's so easy to apply. It just is a quick little brush through 
I use brown mascara in shade three. It is the darkest shade that we have. Yes, baby. Good job. <laughs> oh, that was way too dark. Let's see if I can wipe that off. Yes. Nope. Okay, let me take a spoolie if I can find one and run through that real quick just to kind of spread out that product. I accidentally used the wrong part of the brush and got too much right there. Let me make this side a little more even. <laughs> so just a tip because of what I just did, it's really best whenever you're putting on brow mascara especially, um, it's best to start in the middle of your brow and swipe over and then you can, whatever's left on your wand, then you can go back through and get the rest. That way you're not going to end up with a too dark of an area like I just did. Okay, take some toothpaste. Okay, let me see everything that I've used so far. That way I can let Coco just <laughs> run wild with it. How about that? There's toothpaste. <laughs> I don't want her to run away with my kabuki brushes though. Oh. And I'm going to use my 3-in-1 face palette for my bronzer. So this is more of like a lazy girl, lazy girl contour. Just adding a little bit of warmth to your face. But I love this palette. I like this one and the Peach Bite palette because you can use them obviously for what I am doing, but then you can also go in and use them for your eyes too, like I did the other day. Bless you. I did that on my 10 minute makeup look. So if you are like a busy, mom woman you don't have to be a mom to do your makeup you know to be busy have it with your makeup women are busy in general i know baby but you can't have that one come here okay so there is just a little bit of warmth added to my face um i do want to add my concealer which is what she has this is the liquid concealer in shade light ivory and this is what i do Excuse me, baby. I know, I know. <laughs> she's probably got makeup. Yep, she's got makeup on her shirt now. And then I go in with Pharmacy's Buffer. It's a concealer buffer brush. Um, it makes it so easy to blend out, but this is the liquid concealer. These are, I believe, $9. Um, same with the brow mascara. I believe the brow mascara is in the $9 range too. Dang it, sissy. <laughs> okay. So here is my concealer buffer brush. And it's going to buff out everything that I just put on my face. Light Ivory is a really good highlighting shade especially for under your eye area and then uh, just another tip if you have dark circles if you're really prone to having dark circles getting dark circles before you add a highlighter to brighten up your under eye area you want to first color correct that and how you're going to do that is by using a color correcting concealer just a different shade the soft orange in my opinion has been the best one to really color correct the darkness under your eyes. So you're going to add, and I actually have a separate video on this. I did this last summer. Um, it was like one of the first, one of the first tutorial videos I did for a customer who is now a teammate. Hello, because she has realized how amazing these products are after using them for some time. And she has seen the opportunity work so well for me and my family um, that she wanted to be a part of it. But you are going to take a orange concealer put it under your where your dark circles are first and then you can add your or then you're going to add your foundation come here baby shh, shh, shh. hey we're not doing that we're not doing that baby um then you'll add your foundation <laughs> coco no no <laughs> you want this <laughs> you're gonna end up falling right off baby 
Um, then you're going to add your foundation and then you are going to go in with your brightening concealer. And then just a tip, if once you have your concealer on and blended out, mine is on, it's blended. If that's still too bright for you to light in areas, take your foundation brush. It's got anything left over that you just used and you're just going to gently dab it around your highlighted areas that are a little too highlighted for you, if that makes sense. And it's just going to even it all back out for you with still, you know, gives you a better highlight up, up here. And um, the only thing that I'm going to do for my eyeshadows today, just for the sake of, of our visitor, our guest, you want the body lotion? No. Is I am going to Coco. No, no. Coco real. <laughs> <laughs> You want this? Okay. Okay. I'm going to add my um, eyeshadow primer. Dang it, I really needed that. Okay, hold on just a second. Um, I know, babies. She'll be fine for for about a minute. So what I'm doing is just going in with my eyeshadow primer. And this is probably all that I'm going to wear. Just for the sake of time and um and, and, and Coco. She's laying down now. on the floor. I can't put her in her pack and play anymore because she has figured out how to climb out. Um, and obviously it's not a very graceful climb and fall out. So, <laughs> um, but if she'll let me, she'll stay over there <laughs> for just a second. <laughs> I can add something else to my eyes. Um, I'll just go in with, I'll show you how easy these liquid, um, eyeshadows are. So this is liquid eyeshadow Joker. This is the shade name. It is Shade Joker. It is the best liquid eyeshadow formula in shade that I have ever used. This is, I feel like this is such a must have color for everybody. And the formula itself is super soft. It does not dry, um, you know, like it doesn't get dried up and creasy on your eyelids which is just questions that I get often. These are the first creamy or liquid eyeshadows that I've ever used. Um, but I'm assuming from other people who ask me questions that they have used other brands. Um, and so to answer those questions, these do not dry out. They do not get creasy or anything like that on your eyelids. But Joker is seriously the best ever. I love it so much. It is my absolute favorite. And we're going to put purple lips back on today because I really am loving this shade Confident. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. So, let's go. I'm still going to use the bronzer from the 3 in 1 palette just because I already used the bronzer on my face. Oh, she's moving. <laughs> and this is going to go in my in my crease. So, if you have hooded eyes, <laughs> Hello baby. If you have hooded eyes, you want to put your matte color for warmth right above your natural crease so you can see it better. And this is also just a pharmacy makeup brush. Here she comes. Here she comes. Okay. 
will do that. Come here, baby. I know. You just have to be <coughs> oh, in the know of everything. Say hi. You say hi. 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 <laughs> you a pretty girl? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that was that. So, I did get a little bit more eyeshadow on. And, what else? I, really, the last thing that I have is my mascara and my Time Locker Finishing Spray. You guys, this thing is only $10, and it holds your, play, your makeup in place all day long, especially in the heat. So, I'm actually going to spray my face first before I put my mascara on. Did you feel that? <laughs> Let it dry. You feel that? <laughs> yeah, you felt that, didn't you? Okay, now mascara. I still don't have my um, my good star look out here, so no, stop. Coco do. No, no. Look at the face she's giving me. She's not gonna do it now. There she goes. <laughs> So I'm going to go back in with 3D Effect, which I've told you I really like having, um, I like having the options because Star Look is um, 11, or it, Star Look Mascara is $19.90. Um, not everyone wants to pay that, so my second favorite recommendation would be this one, the 3D Effect for $11.90. No, no, Coco. Come here, baby. <laughs> you can't look at me like that. And normally I also really like wearing a mascara primer underneath my mascara as well, but we're just going to keep it, keep it mascara only. So if you guys see this and you are wanting a toothpaste, I have been challenged to sell 28 of these by Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. So I have, you know, I'm doing, I'm working my challenge because um, I really want to hit it and this toothpaste is absolutely amazing. Okay, that's the other thing. You know, there's always a lot of sales that happen or a lot of a lot of this or a lot of that, but it, um, you know, if it's not something that I already use and already love, then I'm not going to, I'm definitely not gonna do a challenge. I'm not gonna partake in a challenge on it, um, and I'm not going to, to talk to you guys about it so much, but this toothpaste is amazing. <laughs> Coco Roo. This is Coco Roo, you guys. She is the boss of our house. <laughs> Aren't you? Okay. And wow, it is scary to do mascara with her wild little arms on my lap, but here we are. Um, okay, so my challenge is to sell 28 of these. And so far I have sold, I'm trying to think, one, two, three, three, sold, I've sold three so far. Um, I'm placing a big bulk order for free shipping on Sunday night at 7, so please send me your orders prior to 7. The order goes in at 7, so I need your orders before then to make sure, you know, everyone's orders go in on time. Um, and I have one there on that so far, so there that will give me four. Someone is sending me money for theirs today, so that'll be five. But right now I have three set in stone. <laughs> And, oh my gosh, okay, so I haven't given you guys an update um, on my goals and all of that for the month. Um, so, goodness, my, I always have, give myself a sales goal and a sponsorship goal, sponsor, mentorship goal, um, whatever you want to call it. And I call it that because I don't just add someone to my team as a recruit. Like, I literally give them my time and my energy, my resources, my knowledge. I pour myself into those that are joining me. So it's not just like a, a quick, you know, oh, you're here, bye. Like, have fun figuring it all out. Like, I give my team my all. <laughs> so I set um, a goal for five five new people this month. Um... 
and so far okay so so far I've got two that are brand 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 new to me and this and pharmacy so they I've been working closely with them I actually am one of them's local to me one of them is not so the one that's local um, I don't think she's ever done anything like this before so her and I are going to meet up in person next week um, and get her you know squared away and all of that and then um, my other one is in Ohio she's doing really great um, so there's two that are brand new to me one of my girls that's on my team is actually I haven't counted I'm not counting her as my um, like as my sponsor mentorship as for my goal but I am working closely with her right now um, she has decided to start doing her business um, so I've been working closely with her this past week getting her caught up and set up she um, she's just doing it's just one of those things like you know we get so nervous to do these we get so nervous to get out of our comfort zone and but yet when we finally do like people start supporting us and I've watched that happen to three girls so far just just within the past week I've watched this happen to three different people um, and it's just really exciting to see because you know it is it is nerve-wracking to to do something like this but I always look at it like my my one my first girl that I was talking to um, I think I talked to her Monday night and you know she's super super nervous and I was like okay well or maybe it was Tuesday I'm like why like there's a reason that this has been on your mind there's a reason that you joining pharmacy has been so heavily and so strong on your mind and whether that is God leading you to this whether that is your your intuition trying to guide you in a certain way to where it is that it knows you need to be whatever it is there's a reason and that reason is for you to be here and spread your light and spread your joy and start bringing in that income for your family and that's you know this isn't all about income it's definitely not but I'm telling you it helps it helps so 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 much most I think I might be the only one on my team who does this full-time um, everyone else works full-time um, and they do this as part-time you know side hustle to bring in extra income um, some of them started for the discount and have since realized how big the opportunity is and decided to try it for themselves but the thing is you are never going to know you can wish and wish and wish all you want but you're never gonna know how this is going to work out for you until you try it and here like I I help you so much and my like biggest rule of thumb is you know um, for those for people that join me even the girls that work with me like they already know this because most of them do accountability calls with me throughout the month so we do weekly check-ins so I can see how they're doing these are people that want that from me okay it's not something that you have to have if you're like okay well talking to you wait you know talking to you every week is a bit too much for me I'm gonna do it by myself that's fine you don't have to you don't have to take advantage of my offerings um, but for the ones that do take advantage of what my extra time and my energy that I have for them, um, I match their energy. So for my newest girls that I've been working closer with, I'm like, I will help you. I will do all of these with you and help you, show you how to get all of this done, how to get started. But there's always a but there because I need your energy in return. I can't pour, 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 beg. Like, I don't beg people to be here. I don't beg people to work their business. Um, this isn't corporate America. Like, I don't, I'm not on salary. I don't get paid hourly. Okay, I don't get paid to beg. Um, and since I have learned to switch my mindset from that, I've really grown not just my business, but my team, myself, my personal self has grown so much. And you just really start to spiral up when you ch start changing your mindset in that way. Um, but that's what I always tell my people like I will literally bend over backwards for you I just have to see the effort coming back like you've got to be putting in the work as well for me to keep coming after you and that's just what I like to do so I love my team I love working with them and it's just such an amazing feeling it's such an, a like a beautiful experience to see people 
on their journeys here at pharmacy start to like blossom and bloom and start to believe in themselves more and then their teams start growing and then their paychecks start growing more and sorry my nose started watering <laughs> Um, this is something I was talking to my to my upline about recently because we um, her and I both came from the the same company before that's where I knew her from so I I really trust her I love her business mindset and um, but anyways I was talking to her recently after actually after our paycheck we got paid on the tenth we get paid on the tenth of every month it was my highest paycheck ever <laughs> in direct sales industry ever. I was with my last company for three years, you guys. I've been here for almost one year. Next month will be a year. And just experienced my biggest paycheck in the industry ever. And I was talking to her about, you know, not only is it so exciting, you know, for me, but there's so many people winning on my team. And where I was before, I felt like it was a very supportive and tight-knit community. But it's like not everyone was winning and, you know, everyone was super supportive of me and for being like their mentor or whatever. But, you know, it got kind of defeating after a while of everyone being like, okay, yeah, you know, Katie's, you know, doing all these things and that's amazing, but I'm still making 80 bucks a month because <laughs> you're only making 20% off anything you sell over there. And it was just really hard. Like, I would constantly get messages from girls saying, like, um, they have people that are interested in joining them, but they don't have $100 to drop. Or they have people that are interested in the products because they're really, really nice, amazing products, but they can't afford them. They don't have a network that can afford them. Like, those were the messages that I got all of the time. And now... I have messages from my front line. I get messages from their girls on their teams messaging me about how excited they are to be here, how their teams are growing because they just started believing in themselves and they just started presenting themselves in a different way. That's how we coach you here. It's different and it's a lot easier to grow here when you only when you can join for 20 bucks for one. Um, for two, <laughs> the products are very, very, very affordable. We come from one of the world's largest cosmetic integrated companies. Okay, that is how we keep our products affordable. We're not like Avon. Avon does not follow European standards, okay? So don't, you can't compare us to that because we follow European standards. European and U.S. standards are night and day different. The FDA doesn't care what the heck goes into your cosmetics, your skincare. They don't care. Europe does. <laughs> we follow European guidelines, which is why I love this toothpaste. It is safe and it is effective. So good for you and your oral teeth. So real quick, right back to toothpaste quickly. I love to oil pull with coconut oil. Y'all, if you are oil pulling and using this, you're going to have the best mouth ever. Like your dentist is going to love you. No. Um, but that's what it's like here. All of the time, people are are winning and it's just exciting like I often forget what my wins are like I I haven't even been stuck on the fact that I just made my biggest paycheck ever because my inbox is constantly flooded with my teammates who are winning my teammates who are bringing in real paychecks not just 80 bucks but more than that because the compensation plan was made for us to win as soon as we start I believe the first, my two girls that joined me, I believe they both just earned their, their welcome program too. So they'll get a free gift um, from pharmacy <laughs> just for working their business, just for being here. And both of them signed up for 20 bucks, okay? We do have optional business kits, which I absolutely love and think that they are great tools to have. You do not need them. I just had two girls join with for 20 bucks. They've already hit their welcome program for the first month. Like, you don't have to have it. <laughs> Okay, you can work this business without it. And there's just been a lot of exciting stuff going on. And oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say about coffee and removing those stains from your teeth. So I had my um, thermography appointment done on Monday. Yeah, and I got my results back Tuesday. And they're kind of confusing for me to understand, I guess, just because I don't really know all of the lingo. Um, I do know I'm searching for a functional doctor right now to get my hormones tested. So if you know of a good doctor in the area, please let me know. I do not want blood panel. I don't want to, um, if you know, like, 
if you don't know, you don't always get accurate readings. Um, like most of the time you don't get accurate hormone readings off of a blood panel. Um, I want a doctor who will do saliva. So if they won't do saliva, I'll be like, I won't go. I'll just waste my time going. Um, so I definitely am looking for a doctor, um, in that regards. Um, and I do have to go back in six months. It was recommended that I go back in six months to just do a, um, like a breast, a breast study exam, um, just to have my breast rechecked. It's okay, baby. Um, because there was, I guess, some concern there. So I have to go back in six months for that. So I think that's like October, November-ish. And then again in another six months. So I'll do that for a year. Um, just to make sure. But I really think, I know, I know for a fact my hormones are out of whack. Um, and things from just, you know, having a baby and nursing, like, it really just threw everything off. So I'm not, I'm not worried about anything. Um, I just am trying to figure out, like, get to the bottom of what else is going on because, um, you know, I want to heal my body and I want to take care of my body without just feeding it a bunch of different prescriptions, like, um, to each their own. But I have been healing my body for the past four or five years off of, pharmaceuticals and that's how I prefer to heat to keep you know handling handling my self-care um, and all of that but um, so I'm kind of in the mix of getting into you know more information from all of that and it was interesting um, it was a really it was a super quick easy process it was like a 30 minute appointment in and out and um, I can't say that I would necessarily go back I am gonna go back for my six months just because it was recommended and that's you know I'm not going to not go to that um, because it was recommended for a reason um, so I'll go back for that but other than that I probably wouldn't go back um, but it was a really really cool process and the thing with thermography scans is it's early detection so um, especially if you have a family history of um, breast cancer or really anything in your body like you can go there and um, and have a scan done and it can detect anything before a mammogram or any type of cancer screening scan, which is really cool So I would recommend it for that reasoning. I think that that was really really interesting takeaway for me um, And then even like one part of my report So I did what they called it was a women's health study So it did my my neck for my thyroid which my thyroid was good um, It did my chest um, All of this area it did my abdomen my back um, it showed inflammation in my lower back, which was interesting because that always hurts, especially when I am PMSing, again, all hormonal. Um, so it did not show any inflammation around my heart, which was really cool. So that part of my report that I got back, it said, you know, there's no abnormal abnormalities um, around your heart or with your heart area. However, if you have a family history of stroke or heart disease, whatever, something like that, then obviously, because they can't necessarily diagnose you. They can just tell from the thermography. They measure, they measure the, um, the heat in your body with, you know, they have a tool to measure with degrees and all of that. So whenever they find abnormalities, um, with heat throughout your body, that's when they know, okay, something's going on and you need to take this to your doctor and get it further investigated because something else is going on in your body. Um, so it was kind of cool and I'm glad that I did it for sure. Um, because I'm always looking for answers to just get my health back, um, get my health back together. But I hope you guys have a happy Friday, a great day. And, um, that was the, that's where I was going with all this, the caffeine. The lady did say, she was like, anyone with hormone problems, she was like, when they up their vitamin D levels and take away their caffeine, they normally start feeling tremendously better. So I have been cutting back on my caffeine. I was drinking coffee every single day, every single day. Sometimes, normally just once, once a day, but sometimes twice, sometimes three, but definitely every day. And, and I know like, it's just not good for you to have large amounts of caffeine. Um, so I have been last Sunday. So I didn't have any coffee at all last week because my adrenals were already yuck and, and I can't do coffee when they are already cleared. Um, on mother's day, I did get an iced coffee, um, a medium and I drank maybe half of it. Um, yes, dad, dad, she is dad, dad's girl. <laughs> Um, drank maybe half of it on Sunday and just didn't really care for the rest. Um, and then maybe Tuesday, it might've been Tuesday. We went to the park and I did get a small iced coffee. 
Um, and I drank that and felt okay. And I only got a small one because I started feeling a headache, like maybe I was getting a caffeine withdrawal. So I decided to just have a small coffee just to see if it would take it away, and it did. Um, but even yesterday, like I started getting that urge, like, ugh, like my head's bothering me, but is it really bothering me just because I want coffee? So instead, um, instead of making a cup of coffee, I drank some, um, it's like a positive energy tea that I have from the Yogi brand. Um, I think my mom got me that for Christmas actually, but it has 70, 70 milligrams or however caffeine is, um, you know, whatever. Um, but so I had that yesterday and that was nice. Um, it did give me a little bit of boost. So I think if I do, I'm really trying to stay away from, you know, feeling like I have to have coffee every single day because I really want to get my hormones under control. And I am the type of person that if you want something, you will make it happen. So I want my body to heal right now. So I will do whatever it takes. I will spend whatever amount of money I have to spend through natural remedies um, in order to get my body back to where it needs to be because um, I don't like pharmaceuticals. That's my biggest thing. So, <laughs> um, unless obviously it's life or death, but this isn't life or death. Um, this can all be corrected, um, through natural ways, but yeah. So there's that part of a whole new, whole new thing happening, but I hope you guys have a happy Friday and I will talk to you later.